Good evening, YouTube. Um, I am Alice Serafin of Allie's Wonderland Creations. I'll show you my sign I made. There we go. If you look for me on YouTube, look for this. Um, I am a Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. Um, I really need to have a note with my name, so if you wanted to look me up, you could. Um, in fact, I'll just write it in a notebook real quick. Mm. Oh, that was me hitting my desk with my knee, which I seem to do a lot of lately. Let's see. I just might write this all here in my little notebook with my Sharpie. Alice Serafin. You can find me as a demonstrator for Stampin' Up. I am new to this YouTube videoing, um, but I have a lot of things I'd like to, to share with you. And this is one of them, just a quick video on the pinwheel or tower card, as I call it. Um, I found all these pieces. I was looking for a stamp set, which I still have not found. Um, and so this is my version of the pinwheel card. I used um, some old DSP. Anyways, I think it came out great. Um, I used the peaceful, let me see, uh, the peaceful deer bundle here with the punch, the stamp. This is the sprig punch. This is on the clearance rack, the two um, holiday ornament punches. Um, I'm going to shut my door real quick. It sounds like we got a little coming out there. Um, let's see what else I can. This is from the Mountain Air um, dies or Majestic Mountain dies. And um, Mountain Air uh, stamp set. This is from the Forever Fern dies. Let's see if I can. It was right here on top of my box. Yes. Um, Forever Flourishing Dies. This one here. Um, these here. These little sprigs are from something else. I can't remember right now. But use what you have. Um, that's what I did. This uh, little bow is from a old retired die set. So um, I've got everything... Here I made my panels um, and I'm going to show you, let's see the easiest way to show you, try to cover up, I don't want to move my images, I'll just bring this in. All right, I have a template for this and hopefully you get a good view of it. Um, okay, for the base of your card. Today I am using um, basic black. So here we go. Cut one uh, four and a quarter by five and three fourths. That's important, the three fourths. Then you score it three quarters of an inch, one and a half inches, two and a quarter and three inches, which I've already done in the black. Now, um, if you want Uh, this is another video I'm going to show this one. If you want layering pieces of DSP on these pieces, let me bring one of these out. This is what they are. So we need, of the same color of our card base, we need three pieces. Cut it two and three fourths by four and a quarter. That's these three. And looks like I have four, don't I? Yeah, that's okay. One will go inside my scrap box. So where's my card? Huh, there's my three pieces. Now that's that piece. Now this is for the, you need to cut four of the DSP to layer on the card base that one. And for the opposite side of this pinwheel 
see this piece here? That's what that piece is. And that's one and a half by three and three fourths. And you need to cut four of those. And then you need all of your embellishments. So, and I do have a little bit of a, a few things that are stuck on dimensionals on this card. But I kind of liked it being as flat as possible because it is bulky when you want to mail it. And it does fit in a standard envelope. This one's folded up because I found all this in, a in an envelope. So this will be one of my Christmas cards. There, see? And you can mail it if it's... I need to push it in all the way. But let's get started with our card making. And I've got... I'm in the middle of recording. Hi, honey. So that was my husband. Um, so let's move all this aside. Okay. And let's get on with pulling out my template here. I keep all my little fun fold templates I make. I keep them in a little tin. I wonder where I put it right now. <laughs> okay, let's just set it aside. So this one goes here. Now I do have these laid out as I am going to um, put them on the card. And I just lost my earpiece. I don't know why it does that. Am I still recording? Yes. Okay. I'm going to bring this back in. And we are going to fold and tape our panels together. A folder. Or a creaser, as my grandson says. So I'm just going to crease these up. And this is where I get the tear tape out. I had it out and I put it back away when I decided to do this video. Hoping it won't take that much time. Mm. Gotta love score tape. Okay. little piece there. I have several lengths of it. All right, so rub those down. Get my little needle, straight pin, and there we go. Oops. Okay, so it's really simple. You fold this over to your crease and just fold it hard on top of itself and give it all the way over, making sure they're all working for you. And now we're going to start adding these pieces. Now, I only put the score tape to start the pinwheel. The rest of it can be done with glue. And I like to start with the first pinwheel or edge of the card. I start it going away from me and then I know what I'm doing and I put some glue there and hold it up there, give it a minute, rub it down. Good. Turn it. Fold it back down. I'm going to the edges to make sure it's squared up. The only part where this gets a little crazy is when you're on your last one. So I just hold it in my hand, 
squiggle some glue. I'm going to turn it this way. Give it a pinch in there. Pinch it. Pinch it between my fingers. And there is our pinwheel. And now we can start to embellishment, embellish it. And it does go fairly quickly. Um, okay, so this one's done, this one's done, this one's done. This one is not done. And let me bring this in. Um, I'm a big believer of using what you have. And these, believe it or not, were already um, done for me. I had extras from, and I just got into my extra stash of things I have cut and decided, hey, what can I do with these? And so we're going to bring it up to there. Glue that down. Alrighty. And this deer is a die that I had purchased to make my husband as a big hunter. In fact, deer season is upon us here in a week or so. And uh, I purchased this die to make him a birthday card. His birthday is in September. This was years ago. And uh, this was an extra piece I had in my little stash of die cuts. I had several. I'm going to bring the deer all the way down so he's not floating in midair. Um, and this piece, look at this. This is from, yes, it is from a paper pumpkin. And I can see that we need to do a little surgery on it. That piece needs, let's see, cut there. Uh, actually, I don't like this piece. It is a little wonky. So let's get into, this is what I mean. I got lots of pieces and parts. But I do believe I have some that are already stamped. Which is the best time of the year. And I think I'm going to go, this is a paper pumpkin too. That one, the edges got messed up. We're going to cut this down. Let's see. Making sure I don't. I'm going to go right to the end of the reds. And hopefully that will do it. And that little gold will actually... I think we're going to cut off the gold, actually. It's just a little too wide. So let's bring this in. Now, believe it or not, the way I cut, I have sliced this finger so many times with this little guillotine cutter. Oh, so many times. All right, I like that. I'm happy with that. These are our pieces to go in the recycle bin, and that is going to come straight across like that. And I'm just going to put a line of glue on my deer itself. And make sure he's straight. Okay. Now I think I have one more piece that needs fixing. Let's take a look down here. Oh, we got two. So here's one of my pieces and this one needs, oh, that one's stuck down. It got tape on it. We'll have to do that at the last minute. Okay, so let's, I know that I don't want these long stems. And I want this one shorter. Okay, shorter. And I know I don't want the long stem on there. So, first we're going to glue down the dark green pieces. And my reverse tweezers hopefully are in here because they would be very helpful. Okay. This is where 
this piece will be. It says from all of us, so I want to, <laughs> trying to do this, I want to bring this down right there. All right, and this piece is gonna, because I really want that flat. Yes. All right, let's attach these to the tweezers first. Be a little easier on me. And right there, so just barely under that. And then we're going to attach these. Right on top of that one. I could glue this down, but I'm going to wait till the last minute. I might put it on a dimensional or two. Let's see. We're going to go this way. I could have, I see now it could have been moved up a bit, but that's all right. All right, and glue the From All of Us onto our very old punches. Don't remember what these are called. I think this is the word window punch and this one below it in the red. Can't remember what it was called, but boy, I wish Stampin' Up! would bring those back because I would buy new ones and I love it. That is going to go right in there, but I'm going to wait till I get it on the card to do that. And let's see. Now I'm going to remove this. And you can see that I have them laid out as to how I want them to go on my card. So, fold my card down. I'll move some of them aside so I can put this down. Because we're going to go with this one first. I'm just going to add some blue. This piece is going right on this side and this is where we get to put this piece this was old DSP that I had bought and hadn't used and it sure got to work out for this I think I should have used tear and tape on that just now but we'll see if it and Let's see, there, and this little gold piece, I'm not sure if I want it, oh. I think, let's see, right there maybe, yes, and tear and tape on the back of this because it won't stick to the uh, bedazzling paper that was for celebration, is what I used here. I think it just was great. Take that off. And this does have to be up on dimensional. So let me get those out of my little drawer. Let's see. You can use some minis. These are from a paper pumpkin, I'm sure. That's why I keep them all in that little box. Trying to figure out where they need to be first before I put them on there. Okay, and one I think right there will do it. Yes. And then there's my Merry Christmas. I'm trying to get projects accomplished and put away. So now I'm going to flip the page of it and we are going to go with the green and this is the um, DSP here is from this green piece and the little bit of and the deer is from celebration once again it, it was called peaceful prince I thought I was almost completely out of it. I apparently got a second package. 
with some stuff I ordered. This little piece here. I love these little dots in my Mia Falling Snow. They're in a coppery color. Old cel not celebration. Oh, it was. This was a celebration paper too from years ago. And this is same paper from Peaceful Prints. But this card can be made with, you know, if you don't have this exact prints, I'm basically showing you this little gingham ribbon is from the mini. I just had that little bit of ribbon out. There it is. I bought two things of this, and this will probably be the one ribbon I use completely up of, of stamping ups. Black and white gingham ribbon mini catalog. Love it. I had to have more of it. Okay, where's the piece that goes with this page? Oh, here it is. Little Christmas bobble. Those, like I said, are on the clearance rack still. Great buy, two punches, $20. This large one and a smaller one. I don't have the stamp set that goes with them, but boy, you don't really need it. All right, this is our little piece. And we are almost done with this card, believe it or not. This is going to go right there. Yes, and our it's the most wonderful time of the year. Ooh, that piece, no wonder why. Let's, can I get that up? That piece apparently needs to be cut off. I'm going to have to end this piece because I was messing with the other piece. Does not, let's see. All right, bring in my little cutter here. Four and a quarter. I want to cut it off the end that needed. No. Mm. That's why I have my templates. Three and three fourths by one and a half. So three and three fourths, which is right there. And now it will look so much better if it doesn't stick to my cutter. Let's try this again. I'll have to use some tape, uh, glue adhesive. There, the, oh, much better down here. off there yes and our card is just about done oh yeah this piece see this is why I'm thinking I need to trim that little bits off of it I was that's why we did and we're just gonna square that off there and square it off there a little bit more on this end because I don't want it sticking out over the top. And do we want to go it flat or put it on? I think we're going to go ahead and put it on a couple of dimensional three. I think we'll just about do it. One, two, and three. So. I hope y'all will take a chance and make these pinwheel or power cards. And I <laughs> have made like 30 or 40 of them, literally. And I'm not lying about that. Ooh, see this one here? That needs to be trimmed off. No, it doesn't. It'll still, the card will fold. There is my pinwheel card that we just made. And this is the one. I was looking at. Looks like I have a snowflake on one and not. Oh, I do have snowflakes on both of them. I thought, oh, I don't have a snowflake on that piece, but I do. So, hope you enjoyed this quick little video on pinwheel card making and 
um, it is very easy if you assemble your layering embellishments all together and then assemble your pinwheel card goes by really quick thanks for watching this give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you have any suggestions on what i can do better please please make that comment and um or reach out to me on facebook stampin up see y'all again soon and uh enjoy the stamping bye